All right, so we got some really good patch notes yesterday, and I just want to do a follow-up video, uh, just talking about it in a more calm manner, but at the same time going over what people are saying. A lot of people being as hyped as me, and a lot of people also just being very negative. And I want to go over everything. I'm probably going to cut a lot in this part, just to kind of highlight certain topics that I do want to talk about. Because um, I think this is a very good thing to talk about, right? People have different opinions. Why not discuss it? I mean, I love talking about this game. I love this game and I want it to be better. That's the main point. Now, why was I happy with this update? Because I felt all of the quality of life changes that they've added from, well, that they're going to add to global on JP. Everything has been making the gameplay better, making me want to play more. Even simple things like being able to choose all of the LRPs you want, unlimited amount of times here from the three gear sets for transcendence, getting up to two dupes a month, right? And we look at it. It, it does a difference. It makes a difference. Like, it makes a difference, right? Um, not even just that, but my favorite one that I think a lot of people are going to start realizing this is really good. That came in way too late for JP because of the fact we got Transcendence in what? Season 6? No, Season 7. And this came in Season 9, I think. If you just put 10 SSRs, let's take that out. Um, how many URs? 5 URs or 3 LRs, you have 95% chance to get an LR. So, all the extra SSRs that you're getting now could be LRs. And not even just that. It could be like, oh, it would have been nice if it actually gave it to me, but it could be like the upgraded uh, sets, like the actual like good sets. So, hello? I don't know what happened there, but um, you could like, all the extra SSRs are now going to be there to give you more LRs, which is really good. So if you got, if, if you guys are farming for gear uh, squad challenges, just keep your extra SSRs for this, right? It's going to help a lot for gear transcendence, okay? I, I personally think so. I want to go over th this was just like a little thing. Um, there was a lot of good parts to it, but I want to go over all the, the comments. Now, I want to go over the ones I responded to first because um, I think I did like an okay job at like responding, but I was typing y'all. Um, bro, there was this one guy. I saw him in at least like three comments. This guy was hating. He's, this guy was hating. It is so funny, dog. It is so funny seeing people actually hate so hard. Okay. Now, um, I want to I wanna talk about this. This one I think is very important for me to address because I feel like I'm just getting hated on for very odd reasons. Um, you don't understand all the hype. The problems of the game are still here. They're just adding more potentially. RTA is going to be a huge breaking point because they either try to balance the game around it, buffing and nerfing units like Epic 7 or Summoner's War, or they are going to keep like this and make a Grand Cross uh, where who swipes more wins because... Uh, everyone who has the newest unit designed to counter the previous one with 5-star max skill page and awakened gear. I understand the hype for the YouTube content that you'll be able to make, but why is everyone ignoring the fact of what still needs to be fixed? Content creators have the visibility to at least let the devs know things are not good, but apparently no one cares. Games drop a lot of money in revenue despite Black Austin in the past two months, and people are quitting everywhere, yet we are, keeping, yet we are yelling for patches like this is like as if everything is fixed now. Sometimes I think we just deserve greedy games and greedy devs. Wait, what? Black Level Mobile number one, right? Yay, bro. Okay, uh, I want to kind of break this down piece by piece. Now for RTA, I don't know the direction it's going to go in. Because if we check it, there is now pick and ban. So pick and ban, I, I don't know how it works. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. I don't know how it works in other games, but pick and ban is probably good for free to plays more so than whales. But you guys let me know. Um, obviously, it could suck if some free to plays only have certain units max invested and then they're kind of taken out. But I'm going to try it out a lot more. It's just that I've had a lot of stuff to do. But there's now both normal RTA and also pick and ban with friends. So if we get pick and ban on global, we'll see how exactly that works out for free to plays. Um, now, what is next? I mean, I can't really comment on that part too much, right? It's hard to really say too much about that because we don't know. He could be right. It could be uh, pay to win, but we don't know. Like, is PvP still going to be fun? That's what matters. You don't need to be in top 500 if you're free to play. You shouldn't be right? You shouldn't be. If you have fun with it, that's what matters. And if you don't, then yes, it's a bad system. Um, Where is it? So counter the previous one with five-star max skill page and awakened gear. Now this part, honestly, I think just got completely like nullified because first of all, awakened gear, I just mentioned like once you get one full set, you could just transfer it on anyone. It's not like you need to build five full sets, right? You get one good set and I'm about to fully max transcend mine. And it's been a while, right? I'm just very lazy. I could for sure get it, but it's because this is from the green dungeon. Um, and it has good subs, that's so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Um, for the gear, like, you just swap it, right? Over time, it's going to maybe take a month or two for free to plays. Maybe it's going to be a bit rough at first. Um, but then afterwards, it should, like, go smoothly. I really feel like, to me, the oh my god, Ma why does Magna have to be right next to Luck? And you can't even, like, click on Luck, too. Is that Magna? 
Yo, yo, they have to they have to move this. Like, I can't even go to luck. I can't even go to luck. Hello? Okay. Okay, we got this, guys. We got this. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, this design gear just lets you all the shitty S SSRs that you're getting. You let's go until we get let's go until we get um an upgraded one, right? So see? See? Okay. So I, I feel like this system is amazing that they're adding it. So for that part. I don't really think it's relevant. And for the five-star max skill page, that's only relevant to certain units, right? Mariliona, Black Asta, Julius, um, Charmy, I guess, but Charmy's not like insane. Um, the red, you know, but guess what? They're adding this shop. So yes, for free-to-plays, they won't be taking advantage of it too much, but they should allow you to get max dupe for a, a decent amount, right? You shouldn't be max duping every single skill page as a free-to-play, but you could easily get this for Mariliona max dupe if you really care about her, right? And if we're really looking at it, the only skill pages I've maxed duped is what? Noel, Black Asta, like the ones that matter. Noel, Black Asta, Mero, Leona, Fuego, um, you know, that's that's it. That's all the ones that really matter. The rest I got lucky in. Charmy's 2 is pretty decent, but I mean, I'm doing fine, right? I don't really I don't really see the problem. You don't need to max dupe a lot of them, right? And over time, it's going to get even more free to play for that. So that's like another point. Um, okay, I understand the hype for YouTube content. That way you'll be able to make more, but uh, ignoring what still needs to be fixed, Am I supposed to negatively talk about something when it's a good patch? I, I don't I don't know. I, I feel like that's a bit weird. Because, okay, at this part I, I want to highlight. And I think, I, I hope a lot of people are still here. Content creators have the visibility to do something to at least let the devs know things are not good, but apparently no one cares. Um, So I re-commented and he completely like disregarded this point because we all talk to the devs. Um, I've openly hated on them. I literally sent my 30 minute, let me uh, open my uh, channel. I openly, I mean, I sent my 30 minute rant video to the game, to, to Garena. I sent it to um, like our content manager. Yes. I, I mean, he, I told him to check it out. I, I like linked it to him in his DMs and I told him to check it out. I told him what needs to be fixed. We had, since before Global was out, we've had voice chats telling them what they need to change. And they said they do take it into heart. But obviously changes are very slow. Um, it's very, Black Clover is very, uh, unluckily a very difficult IP, not even just for characters, but for like bringing new stuff into the game. Um, for example, they are very restricted what they're even able to post on Twitter, right? Which is very unfortunate. Um, but I mean, I do as much as I can. It's not publicly, but if the, if the game does something good, I'm gonna compliment it. Okay. You got to understand there's so many different aspects that need to be, that needs to be fixed. But when they do something good, when they fix the quality of life, when they make the game feels so much better to the point where now I'm able to play much more on JP because I feel like it's a more complete game because of all these little quality of life things that start building up, then I'm going to talk well about it because it's, it's not like I just, it's not like I'm just looking on paper. We've had all of this on JP for a month or two. And especially this month, they added almost everything, right? And it feels so much better. The game feels amazing now. So of course I'm going to talk good about it. Um, and sure, there was a drop in revenue, but now they're starting to fix a lot of stuff. So sure, the, the revenue is going to drop, but they're still able to survive easily. Okay, so there's that. Um, content creators always hype up a specific game because they're getting stuff for free if they're doing it. Uh, I'm not. I mean, if I'm being honest, uh, the NA servers like are getting treated the worst out of all of the content creator servers. Um, I've st guys, I like I just like Black Clover games, and I like this game. You guys got like. Hello? I, I just don't understand that point of view. I, I don't understand that point of view. Because I'm not getting more rewards because I'm talking good about the game. I made 800 videos on the game. Be, does that not show that I just like the game? I, I don't understand this. Or you could say that banners are coming... Wait, wait. The real problem with the game is that there's not enough ways to get gems. That's just untrue. Um, sure, you can't get every unit, but you could build up certain teams as free-to-play. It's just a lot of people don't spend correctly. Or you can say that banners are coming out way too fast. Fair enough. Um, but at the same time, it's better to get up there. For whales, it's of course no big problem. Yeah, of course. But from what I've heard on Discord, there's a lot of free plays that have already been quitting. I mean, yeah, because we're off the honeymoon phase. It's like that for every gotcha. I don't, I don't know like a lot of gotchas that like keep a, like all their players right. It's obviously to be expected. And the game was very dog shit at first, and I think it's starting to build itself back up. Um, you won't reach higher rankings in arena as long as you're having fun. That's what matters to me. If you're competing in your skill level, then that's what matters. They are blocked from the whales and you won't be able to beat them unless you will play. And that means less time. It's not true. Not true. Because even if you're in challenger five, like obviously you might be in gold, but like, for example, even if you're in, uh, is the rewards the same on JP? Even if you're in challenger five, right? 
Oh, it's different on GP. But on global, all of this is 800 crystals. So even if you're at 2,000 points, you're still getting 800 crystals. It doesn't change. On JP, it's different, but on global, it's all the same. So you're not getting more crystals. You might be locked out of 200 crystals a week, but come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Um, now, I responded with a lot of the stuff I'm saying now, but he says, I believe that again, but I do think that acting as a kid who unpacks a present on Christmas Day for a patch like this is probably not the way to go, I guess. You could have said what you wrote to me in the video to remember that hiding, trying to hide the problems behind good patches is not the move. I, I'm not... I, I mean, I... I, I openly shit talk the game when i want to i just feel like when they do good stuff i shouldn't have to shit talk the game because some people think i need to shit talk it in when it's doing good and it's not like i'm doing nothing right i don't know i i have my twitter too and i mean i've publicly shit talked here i mean i also made this wait yeah this one too where i did also shit talk i I don't know if I like the game. I'm not going to always shit talk it, right? Global rush banners from week one and even remove ways to get them. Uh, memory tickets. Sure. 100% for sure. Um, but we also have bingo now. So, you know, uh, the PVE content is the same recycled over and over. But guess what they are? Uh, they told us we're getting it fixed in December. And I also restated that fact in February. So it's probably coming for anniversary in May or April. Um, Hall of Illusion sucks because it's pure RNG. Not really true. I mean, you could have, especially now, it's a lot easier. PVP is unplayable for each higher ranks. Um, I mean, just... If you're in your skill level, then that's that's good. Um, five star max skill page, like, is it really that bad? I, I don't know. I, I feel like you could easily fight whales if you have like certain team comps built. Um, the meta is getting stale, but I don't really think that's a problem to me. If you're in upper leagues, like, congrats, but I don't know. Um, it's only I'm not even gonna go deep into gear and stats because it's gonna take too long. I mean, we just got a really good piece, like the speed plus, like the speed plus piece, right? And gear reroll is getting better and all that. So I think it's getting better, right? All this stuff is getting better. Uh, this came out four months ago with global release. The new since Japanese release that they did nothing. So a good step in the right direction should not be enough at this point. Um, I mean, sure, it's slow, but it's still the first year of the game. I don't really know what to say there. If they're doing good stuff, why is it bad? Like, they targeted quality of life for the season. So why not target, like, I don't know, content next season or something like that, right? They could do stuff like that. Whatever, I'm the only idiot that sees this problem. Perhaps the problem is me and I'm not the game or the devs. And before someone Cope says, if you don't like it, why do you keep playing? Just quit. It's because I like the idea of the game and I don't want to see it ruined. Then I feel like you should be happy when they add certain stuff. It's impossible to fix the game in one patch, but I play for so long that getting a patch like this is, like he said, where is it? Um, where was it him? I don't even know where it is. Oh, like a kid who unpacks a present on Christmas Day. This was exactly that. Because they did everything we needed for Global to head in the right direction. We got the quality all the quality of life features. So now, now that we know that real-time PvP is heavily being worked on, now that we know that PvE, replayable PvE content is coming, what is the point of being negative? The only thing you could really say is that, well, I mean, there's not much communication on when it's coming, and I totally agree with you, but I'm gonna be positive because this is the game I'm playing. I love this game. If it isn't apparent by how many videos I make, I just I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so yeah, that's like the main point that I do. I, I really wanted to hone in on this comment specifically. Um, but a lot of people are happy, right? A lot of people are happy. And there's another thing that like, you know, uh, for real time, there's no friends to play with. I will probably make some viewer summons. Um, I think that's pretty important in my eyes to do viewer summons. Viewer summons, viewer PVP, and also do uh, tournaments. Now, the require SSR mage, I just want to quickly say, you could just promote and uh, it works well. Was there anything else really from here? Um, so SSR Mage is banned in the event arena. Like, I was talking about it. Like, holy shit, that's insane. Insanely good. You gotta consider. You could use a bunch of SRs now. There's so many team comps that you could do. Obviously, Fennel and Volatiles are gonna be crazy. But then you could do different types of things if you don't get killed first turn because obviously there's not insanely, like, nuking potential. Um, like, hello? Uh, she gives what? HP recovery. Continuous HP recovery. Crit rate. Okay. Then get what does Noel give? Hold on. What does Noel give? 90% of her barrier is magic attack. Now, this alt barrier is better, but this will still be crazy if you want to use it. Goes up to 140%. So that could be like a 70k barrier, about, I think. I think. Um, so, no, I, I like there's stuff like that. There's also stunning units like Shuren and Alokdora. You could also go Fineral and Vanessa. Fineral gives everyone 20% mobility on the combo with a DLT block. And then Vanessa also gives damage res on the combo. And then afterwards, she gets buffed up. She gives total defense, right? And then also she gives everyone the blessing of protection so that they're going to get the heal. Um, and then later on, she's going to give defense or you could do that first, right? So you buff up Vanessa, you get tanky turn one, right? That's probably the way that it's going to have to go. So there's stuff like that. There's so many different team comps. 
Um, you could also try for Soul, right, just to give the attack. Uh, actually, no, she would be kind of mid. But the Dispel Barrier, and then there's also Noelle on her own. AoE, Barrier, and also Defense Increase. Like, that's going to be insane. Um, so it's going to be pretty fun. And, you know, you could do Seke if you want to have some... Also, Nage. 30% chance for Freeze. You know, could be kind of crazy. Also, Incapacitate. Oh, but it's only a 40% chance. That's kind of mid. So, like, there's a lot of different ways you could go for Event Arena. No SSR, so it's going to be pretty fun. Now, I just want to see if there's anything, like, kind of important um for that i haven't responded uh so the 95 percent um is probably the same from what i'm understanding if we go to a new system no uh equipment the probability has been adjusting when using three lr equipment and equipment development to what uh, ssr one percent you are four percent lr for uh, 95 percent so maybe this wording is a bit different but to be fair right at the same time three lr is what gives 95 percent. they don't mention like 10 ssrs but i'm gonna guess it also counts like if you're like i'm really next to luck how is it Okay, let's go back and bop. That's going to be annoying. Um, Because, like, look, obviously 3LRs is what gives the 95%. But then you could also say that, like, the 10 SSR. So I don't know if they're also going to include this. Hey, maybe we get another uh, increase. And we do. Look at... Ah, oh, beautiful. Actually, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, yeah, no. Uh, I do think that is honestly uh, really good. Um, So, I mean, of course I'm excited. Because they had a good patch, especially after Season 4 was mid, right? So, um, there's that. Now... One thing I do want to say, also, game is already dead while making 4 million is kind of crazy. I, I mean, people obviously stop playing, a lot of people, but... Also, I, I find this weird. They say, is it this? No, only... <sighs> there were some people that were saying that, like, it's only whales playing. Majority of the time against whales. I mean, yeah, if you're in upper leagues, but, you know, you're not always going to be in upper leagues. And not even just that. Um, I mean, if only whales is making 4 million bucks... Then, I mean, they're chill, right? Even if, even if it's a whale game, I mean, 4 million is 4 million. Jesus Christ, if they keep on making that, I'd be happy. Like, I mean, this game's going to last a while if they do that. So, I mean, yeah. Now, the one thing, Equipment Transcendence. Uh, Anto was very disgusted about it. I checked out his video a bit, but uh, I went to the gym, so I didn't see all of it. Um, I think on JP, it's very bad. But for Global, it's actually, like, perfect timing. There's going to be the stamina, um, the buffs, right? We have the buffs for stamina 50% off. So that's going to be perfect timing. Uh, right now, it's squad challenges. So you should be grinding gear, right? So like for three days, we got stamina discount 50%. Three days, right? Um, so I would say like people should definitely farm it here. But then not even just that. You, you should be farming squad challenges. So unless you're selling all your gears right now, well, then there's going to be the buff for the gear development. And then it's going to be 95% chance to get an LR. Let's do another one because why not? Like I just, I like, he, I, it's just, it's just, it, it's so good, right? Like you just keep on doing this and like, hello, right? Hello. So, you know, we're farming so much gear right now and right after too, that I think it's genuinely going to end up being very good. Um, and people, could they, are they going to max transcend right away? Probably not. But as long as you get your DPS at like within a month or two, I think you're going to be chill because right now not everyone's going to max transcend. It's only going to be like the top of the top. So it's not like going to be direct, uh, like a direct um, like influence right now. But gear transcendence will for sure be the like norm very soon. Um, I really don't think transcendence with this new thing is as bad. Obviously, it's hard to get the pieces you want, but um, I think it's a lot better, right? I, I personally do believe that, and currently they're like incentivizing you right now to do a lot of um, gear farming with squad challenges, obviously giving the most amount of points for that, and then afterwards the 50% off stamina for three days. I think it could be uh, kind of annoying, but I, I mean, I honestly, I think it's not as bad as people are saying. Plus, also, you got to consider um, Charlotte's coming out. Charlotte without um, gear transcendence is just toxic. I, I mean, Magna... Magna kind of is dead on arrival because he doesn't have any way protecting himself from a Julius counter turn one, a combo turn one. Very unfortunate. So I definitely think people should just skip Magna's banner or the season five banner with Transcendence now. So there's that. But I think Transcendence is honestly fine. But I, I do want to hear your guys' thoughts on Transcendence, please, down below. Um, but I think that with that new like 95% chance for LR, it, it's going to go a lot smoother. Um, plus, there's a bunch of other little things that I personally did enjoy. Uh, I just think that it's... Obviously, a lot of quality of life, which is great. And I do want to say the event arena giving accessories is way better for free to plays than it is for whales because whales have like a lot of... Let me go on my global account. Hold on. So yeah, for example, um, this is my whale friend's account that obviously now I've also been co-sharing, grinding with him at the same time. I'm going to start spending in the future. Um, and I mean, also getting my content creator rewards on his account. So like, that's another reason. Um, 
And yeah, I just want to say I get content creator rewards, but it's not like I'm being forced to make any type of content. Um, so if we look at it, like this guy has a lot of LR accessories, or a lot, but like, oh, hold on, let me let me go here. Has like a good amount, right? Good amount. If we could, uh, doesn't okay. I have to actually scroll down, but like you could see, like he has a lot of gear ready. We're gonna be ready to max transcend basically on uh, launch for pretty much at least a couple sets. But the accessories, like hello, where are LR accessories? Are they on the bottom of the LRs? Am I tripping? I am very confused. Oh, they're on the bottom of the plus 12s, aren't they? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so like, there's a lot of LR accessories like in total that we do have um, on this account. If I don't even know how to check, I'm not gonna lie. So if you put LR type, no, I can't put type class. Uh, I'm so confused. I, I, just, I don't know how to check only accessories, which is why the little thing on the... Uh, JP where like you could only check accessories is way better, but like, you know, I've got a good amount We got the magic attack obviously from the um, mile mileage and we're gonna get more So there's a lot of ways for us to get LR accessories, right? The mileage is gonna allow us to pick another one and he's gonna spend the 1000 because I mean Yeah, um, and we're gonna get another magic attack one right here We're gonna get another one for DPS's right or whatever we're gonna do Maybe we'll get another one, but we'll probably get the magic attack one again um and like for free to plays, obviously it's gonna help a lot more because like a couple of LR accessories, if that's what they are doing, is gonna be way better for them. And then another thing, um, they are final thing, final thing that I think is pretty important. The playtime is a huge quality of life that's being changed, um, in my opinion. Where is it? Playtime, 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 playtime. Event reward adjustment. My guess is it's also gonna change the time or the time like uh required. Uh, so if we go into here, I'm, I don't. I, Sometimes this game, sometimes, sometimes I just, I can't with this game sometimes. But if we check here um, and we go into play time, we can see now it's 60 minutes on KR. And they also have amazing rewards. 200 stamina a day, which would be very good for transcendence. 10 URXP. One food where you get all of these every single day. Some gear upgrades every single day. These every single day where you could choose one out of the three. But like, you know, it's just, it's free materials, right? I just open this 11 days and bop. Like I've got a bunch of free stuff that, you know, might... Take like a little bit, not like a lot of time to get, but a little bit to get, right? So it's like all little things that really start to pile up. Um, and I mean, that's what people are going to understand. Is this one of, oh, it's only one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Unfortunate. So yeah, um, I personally, I think global is in a very good state. If we get more content, then I, that's, that's what I'm asking for now. But of course, if we go to the KR forum and we check out what's coming. If it wants to translate, obviously from the developer note in um december end of december right see here such uh, new types of updates such as event stories original stories right then we go to the one we just got and then it's talking about um, pve content where it's going to reorganize it redo stuff for here there's a lack of content right Br that brings a sense of challenge right so they they are aware of this they've talked about it and they're also going to say that um we are developing pve content that can be enjoyed all the time which means replayable pve content and then for PvP, they're like, uh, prepare as quickly as possible to establish a high quality official PvP content where you can compete for skills by introducing a matching system. So PvP, PvE, there you go, taken care of. And then even besides that, um, they're also talking about like a bunch of new features and content and events in the first anniversary. So like we know events are coming, we know PvE replayable content is coming, we know PvP is being worked on heavily. We know that they're going crazy for the first anniversary slash half Annie on May, uh, it, uh, half Annie for global in May. So all this stuff's coming. And when you, that's what I'm saying. When you topple all of this stuff that we know is coming alongside the big quality of life that have made the game on KR way more playable for me. It, it makes it way more of a game that I feel like I'm able to play. That's good. That's worth playing. Then once you start toppling everything together, then it's like, yes. Once these events comes out, once we know that good content is coming, then we're going to be set. So I think the negativity is fine. But maybe understand what you're being negative about. Because a lot of people are like, oh, we don't get enough pulls. I just don't think that's true. Personally, I do not think that's true. I mean, we calculated it. We're Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, let me pull up the spreadsheet that I did in the Mary Leona video that at this point, the video probably won't get that many views. I mean, maybe it will, but let me pull it up. So already, I I missed at least two multis and you're getting 28,000 crystals about. Um, not even just that, they're bringing more from login, right? There's also the new Hall of Illusion, so that's an extra 2,000 crystals about. So this is up from now to Mar Mario Leona, or about like May April 7th I put, but now it's going to be even later. So we're getting about like, I would say 350 to 400 pulls 
in the next month or month or 40 days in the next 40 days so 400 pulls in like 40 days i mean is that really bad i, I don't know I, I feel like that's pretty fine i'd be fine with that like shit say less right um i don't know i think it's good not much bad to say about this update besides like not much new content the only thing i will say um people like are gonna be like holy shit new hall of illusions um it's five stages right i mean i could do it with my eyes closed now on kr it won't take me too long that's why i'd leave it till the end but like 2000 crystals i don't know if it's gonna stay they're gonna change these rewards it's gonna be more for accessories which is actually really good um it sucks that you guys won't get the reroll uh red rerolls where you could lock two substats but it's fine um you're still like you're gonna have five battles which i recommend highly for you guys to do it on your own first and then check videos if you really can because it's fun you get to build teams like it's gonna be like okay no one could die you need let's see what the missions are for this one for example for example okay so you have to clear the stage okay you have to clear with no one dying i think and then clear without langris you cannot have langris in your team then for this one you need to have two ready knits clear with no one dead i think and then no real so it's stuff like that essentially that um are going to be the missions so it's going to be fun but it won't last too long right it's going to be there but at least now right what's very cool is that even if oh wait wrong tab even if there it's not going to be too long the hall of illusions it might take long for you guys maybe but there's other stuff coming right we have the raid which is going to take some time but not too much um we have the event arena which this time it will be very good i didn't put the dates did i huh um when is the dates for it hold on is it in uh global i think it's in global right uh season five come on you want to show up please hello okay season five when is the event arena do they show the summon nothing okay so the event arena is from march 18th to the 25th so that's going to be a bit into the update but like by that point like that's when we're going to exhaust a lot of the content and we're going to also have the squad boss for two weeks so we're going to have event arena then squad boss later on earlier on it's going to be new units a bunch of like the tropical retreat which Maybe not the best, but it's still there, right? And we're going to have the Beto Gigas. Limited time, Hall of Illusion. Oh, that's also for March 14th. Okay, so once March 14th hits, it's going to be a bunch of content. So earlier on, it's really just, okay, you get Charlotte, you get to try a bunch of PvP, all the new quality of lives, and then later on, you get a bunch of content. And then obviously, real-time PvP is right away, right? I think. Please tell me it is. Is it not? Where is it? They don't say it, but I'm going to guess it's right away. So uh, yeah, I, I feel like this season will have good content. But it's a long season. Uh, I think we're going to have another banner that they're kind of hiding. I don't think it's Zora and Vanessa. Maybe a global first would be cool. I mean, hey, if they do that, they're cooking. I think they're cooking, personally. I don't know what they do, but global first could go hard because it goes to April 2nd, and usually a full month season has two sets of pickups. This one, we only have Fauna and Witch Queen. So logically, you know, we're probably going to get something else, but the only, thing, the only other thing we could get is Zora and Vanessa, and there's no way they're coming out now. So, maybe something else. We'll see. If I'm right, if I'm right. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think. Please, anything you believe I said that was wrong, let me know down below.